The High Court ruling centers on an action that dates back to our founding, when the First Continental Congress in 1774 began with Christian prayers. 240 years later, America is much more religiously diverse than back then. Part of the reason an atheist and Jew challenged prayers at public meetings in the town of Greece, New York. They claimed the prayers were mostly Christian, made them uncomfortable, and amounted to coercion. But in the majority opinion, Justice Kennedy warned against the courts becoming censors of religious speech, writing, government is prohibited from prescribing prayers in order to promote a preferred system of belief or code of moral behavior. It would be a few steps removed from that prohibition for legislatures to require chaplains to redact their religious content from their message in order to make it acceptable for the public sphere. Implications for the ruling extend across the country. This is picturesque Carroll County with its farmhouses and rolling hills. It's a peaceful place on the outskirts of Baltimore, but at the intersection of faith and politics, there's a storm brewing and it's drawing national attention. A group of residents sued the county because the commissioner's opening prayers were only Christian. That led a federal judge to bar the board from praying in Jesus' name. But hours after the Supreme Court ruling, the same judge lifted his temporary ban that had prompted one commissioner to take this stand. I think that uh, that is an infringement on my First Amendment rights of free speech and free religion, and I think it's a wrong ruling. But out of respect for my colleagues, I'm not sure how strongly they feel about it. I'm willing to go to jail over it. Commissioner Frazier appeared on Fox News defending her stance. John 1624 says, Hitherto uh, have you asked nothing in my name, asking you shall receive that your joy may be full. That's Jesus speaking, and so that's how I pray. After the residents' lawyers filed a motion for contempt, the county, the commissioners, and their legal team went silent. Commissioner Frazier, Carroll County, and their legal team all declined CBN's request for interviews. While they remained tight-lipped about the issue, people in and around the county had strong opinions. The Congress does it, so it's okay. Your thoughts about uh, opening up the commission hearings with prayer? I, I agree 100%, yes, I do. And, and what about opening the prayer using the name of Jesus? Yes, I agree with that too, absolutely. I think that's the, the part that makes it feel very specific to Christianity. If it was just a generic, I'm going to pray to some higher power, that'd be all right, but that automatically excludes me. Monica Miller represents the residents. She says the Supreme Court ruling won't make much of a difference in the Carroll County case. It looked like the, the town was making an effort to be all inclusive and it seemed as though, although a, a majority of those prayers ended up being Christian, that there were others. And in this case, if the county, you know, decided to completely change its practice and do something exactly like the town of Greece, um, perhaps that would be okay. Jordan Seculo of the American Center for Law and Justice disagrees. What the court said today is if you're going to have prayer and there's a Christian praying, they can absolutely close their prayer in Jesus' name. Then we're not going to make that distinction anymore. So I think that that will have an impact on a number of cases. John Jessup, CBN News, Carroll County, Maryland.